What are the pros and the cons of living in Azle, Texas? That's one of the most common questions that I get from clients that are looking to move into the area. So if you're thinking about moving to Azle or simply want to learn more about the city, this is a video for you. And make sure to stay to the end because there's some cons that will not only surprise you, but can actually cost you money. Now, if we're just meeting, my name is Jaime Resendez. Welcome to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel, where you'll find real estate information that no one else is sharing with you. All right, so let's dig in. Azle, Texas is located on the northwest side of Fort Worth and has an average commute to downtown Fort Worth of about 30 to 35 minutes. Now, if you're trying to go from Azle to downtown Dallas, give yourself a little bit over an hour to do so. Now, if you need to catch a flight at the DFW, DFW International Airport, give yourself 50 minutes. Azle is one of those DFW cities that so many individuals sleep on, not because they see Azle and look past it, but because they don't know that Azle exists. It is a small town, which brings us to pro number one, and that's the small town feel. It's one of those Texas towns that you've probably seen on TV that prioritizes community, Friday night lights, and local establishments. In this regard, Azle is no different. You're gonna get all of these qualities in Azle. The one thing that is significantly different is that it's right next to what's now more of a mega city, and that's the DFW Metroplex, which means it's well on its way to get extremely developed super quickly. Which brings us to pro number two, and that's the cost of living. Right now, Azle real estate prices are reasonable. That's why so many individuals end up going to Azle because of the real estate prices. Now, something else that's really driving this development are the lower property tax rates. Azle's property tax rate is among the lowest across all of DFW. Now don't mishear me, I am in no way saying that property taxes in Texas are on the lower end because they're not. On the contrary, Texas has some of the highest property tax rates in the entire country. But what I am saying is that Azle's property tax rate is on the lower end when you compare it to the DFW cities, not the rest of the country because if you compare it against the rest of the country, it's not gonna stack up so well. Another huge benefit to Azle is the recreation scene. You have parks to enjoy, you have hiking trails to go on, and you have a lake right beside you. In fact, about half of Azle borders Eagle Mountain Lake. So you get that small town feel next to a big city for the entertainment, and you also get to enjoy an incredible lake. That's a winning combination if you ask me. And by the way, if you're finding value in this video, let me know that you're here by commenting Azle down in the comment section. Because now we need to talk about some of the downsides. What are the cons of living in Azle? The very first thing that comes up with our clients is the location. There's a realistic reservation of where it's located in relation to the rest of the DFW Metroplex. Keep in mind, we have a lot of out-of-towners that call us to help them relocate into DFW. So it's not always very obvious how far away Azle is from an Arlington a McKinney, a Dallas, a Grapevine, the airport. It's a real consideration given that a lot of individuals that live in Azel actually do not work in Azel. There's a lot of commute going back and forth, especially going into downtown Fort Worth. So as you can imagine, sometimes Highway 199 becomes a parking lot, especially during peak rush hour, given that that's the primary road, in fact, the only road that's gonna take you into downtown Fort Worth directly from Azel. Now, another downside of Azel are the limited things to do. There's limited entertainment options in Azel, which is understandable. We're talking about a small town, which is making a transition very quickly to a large city. So you can't really expect a lot of fine dining. You're not gonna really expect a lot of shopping there, and you're certainly not gonna expect any nightlife. So just be aware that your night out on the town is not gonna end up in Azel it's gonna end up in another city. Now, Azel's third con is the extreme weather. You're going to have severe weather in Azel. That's just something you need to bake into the cake, which generally means there's gonna be some high winds, there's gonna be hail, and there's gonna be tornado warnings. And thankfully, most of the time, that's where it ends. They become tornado warnings. They don't actually become full-fledged tornadoes ripping through the city. Now, I bring this up because you really need to know this. If you have not experienced the North Texas weather, you will. <laughs> now, overall, our clients select Azle over all the other cities because of the affordable real estate prices, the lower property tax rate, the incredible recreation, and also that small town feel, which is why we at the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel give Azle a 3.7 out of 5. So if Azle has piqued your interest and you want to learn more about the city all the way back to when it was founded, check out this video right here. Or if you're ready to check out some homes in Azle, check out our list of preferred homes link down in the description.